Hey, hi everyone. Uh, today we're making borscht. It's a Russian beet soup. So here we're gonna take a couple of tablespoons of butter. We're gonna melt that. Um, we're gonna wait for that to melt. Um, we have one large onion and four teaspoon, four cloves of garlic. Um, it's a little bit more than four cloves, but that's okay. I, I, I like using a lot of garlic. Um, you get really spicy. Um, I think that's the butter has melted. So I to put the onions in. I'm gonna push it around the pot. I think there's some water still in there too. When I washed it. We're just gonna cook that for so several minutes. Like that. Just try to it down. Keep stirring until the butter actually melts, but I'm not gonna show you that way. Everything's on the bottom of the pot. Alright. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna add one pound of pickled beets, got a couple more left in here, add those two, and one or two carrots chopped into, into half beans, um, and a splash of chicken stock, my, my camera wasn't going, um, here's the chicken broth that I, I'm using, you're just gonna add that to the pot and kind of stir it around, turn that to a fit on the sides. You're gonna cover it in that for for ten minutes. Okay, once it's been cooking for ten minutes, you're gonna add the rest of the chicken stock, uh, which is six cups, about one teaspoon of dill, some sugar, and one teaspoon red wine vinegar. Here's the dill I'm using. Uh, you're also also gonna add the two potatoes I'm using roasted potatoes. You're gonna stir that in. You're gonna cook the potatoes and the beets and everything, those roots, for 30 minutes. Not covered. We're medium heat, so. Okay, so, um, if you want to make the stew more smooth, you, um, you're, you'll take out half of the roots and set them aside in these bowls. Then you're gonna blend the rest and with an immersion blender or a little blender like this. Mine came out kind of orange. I, I didn't use all the beet juice I poured down the sink instead. So I forgot about that. If you don't use the pickled beet juice that it comes with in the can, then it's not gonna be red like it's supposed to be. So, failure. Um, I'll probably do another video eventually showing you the red color that it's supposed to be like in the like bright pink. Sometimes it turns out pink, even with the beet juice, just because the beet juice boils off. So anyways, that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, you're gonna take some bowls, you're gonna serve it with some dill and some sour cream. Got these bowls. Um, let me go here and get it out of the... Gonna ladle it to the bowl with that. Getting too many of those roots into that bowl, so I'm gonna put it to the other bowl. So it, when, when you put too much sour cream in, it kind of turns pink like this. You know, other beet juice, it, it just turns pink, so. When you're blending it, so maybe if you want to be 
that bright red color you you hold on that sour cream until after you're done blending or when you're serving it. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna take it over to the table. We're gonna serve it with the Is looking nice tonight. I don't know if you can tell from the camera. The nice day out. The sunset was still there a couple nights ago. Oh, and you're going to turn the heat off. <laughs> so that overcook. There's some stuff. It's pretty fun. And the butter at the top. Serving wise, um, you're gonna take sour cream. You might want to add more sour cream if you prefer it that way. It's not really sitting very well on my dad's. That's okay. Um, I don't know if I have enough to lift this. You can also use a fresh sprig of dill garnish. Just using it from the can to make it cheaper. So I like blending this sour cream in. That's why it's orange or pink instead. Right, there's what it looks like. The borscht uh, root soup from Russia. Thanks for watching.